Stu here with Raid Shadow Legends. We're about to do some 1.12 summons. The patch just came out. My man Stan here from Slovakia wants me to do some summons. He doesn't care if it's double summons or not. He wants them all done on this account. 46 Ancient, 4 Void, and 4 Sacred. We have plenty of room to summon them. What are we at? We're at 21 of 100, so we have plenty of room. I don't know how to save this up here, Smitey or whatever that's supposed to reference. I should have asked him, but I think he's asleep right now. So let's look at what he's got champion-wise. I always like to... Oh, he's got a Vizier and an Ithos. So Skull Crown 2. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a Skull Crusher, so we've got Counter-Attack. We've got it's Poison here with the Occult Brawler. Who else? The Crypt King. We've got Mountain King. He's got all the Kings, right? All the Kings up here. Ithos is amazing. Vizier is, is totally crazy. So, I mean, what, what could he want? He could want a Valkyrie, a Martyr, a Bad L, a Dracomorph... What else do we have in here? This Mal Shald dude. Actually, I don't know why this guy isn't good. I think he's very unique in his in his his look, right? I don't think there's another out there that looks like this guy. Mal Shald or whatever he's called. It's too bad that he's not balanced after a year. You would think you would think they do some kind of balancing on this guy that has his own unique look in the game. Looks pretty cool, like a wrinkly old bat person. So go check him out if you don't know him. We're gonna do these summons. Let's go. So he's got he's got a pretty he's got a pretty good account. We're gonna do ten. Let's do let's do six here. Do six really quick, and then we'll jump into ten pulls. So this is just the regular ancient shards. No nothing special. So we have a 0.5 percent chance to get a legendary. Very low. When it's double, of course, it's only one percent. So still very very low. But you know our epics our epics would be boosted quite a bit. Let's look here in a minute. We're gonna do two more. We'll look at the percentages. What is eight? It's eight percent, right? Eight percent for for an epic, and 0.5 percent for a legendary. It is. It is. And right now we're gonna get rares. I'm sure because you just gotta get lucky. I know there are a lot of. I've been watching. I've been watching streams lately with all the patch stuff coming out. I've been. I've been doing things on my game on my account while I'm watching these streams to to try out all the new features. So. I've seen it. I've seen people wanting to do pulls, and I've seen some good pulls. There have been some. I've seen some bad L's pulled recently on Verdi's channel. So it can happen. It can happen, right? Eight percent for an epic, 0.5 percent for a legendary. Same thing for the void. But we do have a six percent on the sacred. So I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Stan. We can do this. We want to pull something good. There we go. Let's get some epics. Even if we don't get. He did. Did he have a royal guard? I don't think he had a royal guard. So that would be nice. We can't get a Skull Crusher. We've already got a Skull Crusher. We, we got Ramiro. <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. Some people like him. I haven't really, I haven't really leveled mine up to use it to really get to, to see that champion in action. But the rest of these, rares, rares. Kale, there we go. Oh, <laughs> how did it happen? How did it happen? Wow. 0.5% chance. Elder Scar. Okay, now... People use this guy, but I don't see him used in a lot of things. When he came out, he was supposed to be just totally amazing. You've got the Mountain King, you've got you've got Crypt King Grohl, you've got some pretty like unique champions that came out fairly recently, right? Fairly recently. Let's look at him really quick. So what could he do again? Couldn't he do the one with a crazy amount of buffs and fears, right? Extra hit for each buff or debuff on the target. Up to six, so it could do six attacks plus HP burn debuff. True fear if this attack places an extra three hits on a three turn cooldown. I'd like to actually see this. If anybody has a really good Elder Scar that they have geared really well, maxed everything, let me know. I'd like to do a video on this guy and where do you run him? You know, where are you using his force? Are you using him? You know, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. So let me know. And then he does this buff, right? All these things will increase defense, and then he can do. Fear, true fear, and decrease speed. Again, on a three-turn cooldown, which is pretty interesting. And receive 15% less damage from legendary champions. So, I don't know. I don't know. Champions like this, they, they look interesting. But then when we try to use them in a practical manner, that they're not the greatest, right? They're kind of set for one specific thing. But, hey, we got a legendary. Yeah, we got a legendary. All right. Stan, we did it. He should be happy with that. I'd be happy with that. But we need to get one more. That, th this deal that popped up, by the way, is terrible. These deals, these little power pack offers, I don't know who put them together, but they are pretty. some of the pretty worst deals I've seen <laughs> Polarium put out. Like the four-star chicken deal with a couple of gems for $30 or, or whatever insane amount it is. Completely like 
You don't even want to look at those. Do not. So we're on the void now. Wouldn't that be crazy if we just started popping off like more legendaries? We get a void. We get a. Uh, we get another. We get it. We have time. We have shards left. We could get another legendary from. Okay, we didn't have any love on the voids. We could get another legendary from the ancient, and for sure we have a good chance to get one legendary from the sacred, right? At least one. I would think. Eh. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's find out. Let's do two really quick. Let's do two. Let's do two and see. See what we get. All right, we have uh, Talia. What else? What else can we get here? Come on, give us something exciting. I'm glad. I'm glad we got a legendary already. Hey, Royal Guard. There we go. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a Royal Guard, so I'm I'm super excited about Royal Guards. Always. I mean, they've been good forever. So if he doesn't have one, great. Let's go. What else do we have here? Seer. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't have a Royal Guard, so we should be set. He's got a husk here. So again, another good pull. Anytime we can pull things that they don't have, as long as it's not a duplicate, right? As long as it's not a duplicate, we are good. We are good. Where, where are we? All right, let's do 10 more of these. 10 more. Come on. Come on. Give us, give us, give us one more. Give us one more. That would be insane. How many do we start with? I don't remember now. 47 was it? Okay, we got catacomb. We we needed him for a fusion way a couple fusions ago, I guess. All right, let's go back over to, so we've got two more here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Legendary. What do I got? What do I got? Nothing in front of me. I got my chapstick. I got my chapstick, chapstick. Oh, there's a Ford Maverick. All right, let's go. Come on. Malibu's most wanted. There was a chapstick wrap. Obviously, I, I messed that all up. So <laughs> if you know Malibu's most wanted, then you know that song. Okay, Hellgazer. So we didn't do really, so we got, we got Royal Guard out of these, right? Royal Guard. So... Here we go. Let's do these last ones solo. Just singles. People say they like singles better, but I always get, well, probably because I always do 10 pulls. So I can't say I always get a legendary from 10 pulls because I always do 10 pulls. So of course, that's when I would get a legendary, right? Of course, I'm going to legendary then. Come on. So all last night, I stayed up super late. I'm surprised I'm feeling so well now because I only got about four hours of sleep because I was up all night trying out, you know, finishing campaign, three starring campaign completely. Looking at whatever kind of new changes. What do we got? What do we got? Allure. I was using Allure recently in Fire Knights 20, even though she's magic, because her skill one can knock down the turn meter so much. It actually worked out pretty well. I'm going to have to keep tweaking my team because I don't usually use her and it wasn't faster than what I was using, but it looked like it had potential. I could keep the Fire Knight down. I keep the shield completely down the whole time. So maybe but she wasn't always doing her skill one somebody told me she would do her skill 100 percent of the time now that they thought but that's not the case she was still doing her other skills so i don't know we'll see i'll have to work something out because i'd love to be able to go in there with her because a lot of people have her and keep the fire knight turn meter down completely and then beat him easily come on we're not getting anything these dwarf beast wrestler come on come on apothecary yeah, one more. This is it. One time. One time. One time. Please, 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 please. All right. So we did pretty good. Elder Scar, not too bad. Royal Guard, not bad at all. Very good for, for in-game to speed up things. I think this is a daily pack. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can find anything in here. Let's get this shard. Get this shard. So Stan, thank you so much for letting us do these opens. We got an Elder Scar. Pretty cool. Again, if anybody out there has one and, and really has them decked out, doing some serious work or wherever you think that they're best at, please let me know. I don't even know where I'm going on this account. Over here. So he's got a Vizier. We've got the Poisoner here for Clan Boss. We need we need the, uh, we need like a Terrell, right? We need an attack down. Actually, he's got an attack down over here in Jerig, right here. So he's got that for Clan Boss. I mean, he's pretty set for Clan Boss things. And then we need a, you know what we need? We need a Rosin on this one. So if you can fuse Rosin Scarhide soon, to go in with that group to get the weaken and the decreased defense, he'll be set. Rosin Scarhide with, oh yeah, doesn't Vizier do some of that stuff too though? The attack block, so still, still, a Rosin Scarhide with the Vizier, a Colt Brawler, and then who else? We have Counter Attack, and then there was one other I was just talking about. Oh, the, the decreased attack, but he's got decreased attack too. If it stays up, if it stays up all the time with him doing it, then, then obviously I guess that's why it doesn't have Jarek. <laughs> leveled up that's crazy vizier is pretty insane let's go down so wherever we're going to use this bad boy i mean he looks really cool i want him to do well i want him to you know if he's not 
then I want him to balance, right? He just they just brought this guy out not too long ago. Then balance him and make him awesome, right? He looks like some some o- Odin or something crazy. I think he looks pretty sweet. That's it, Stan. Thank you so much for letting us summon on your account. Thank you all for watching. We'll do some more summons later on. Hopefully, near during Christmas, they'll have a you know some kind. It's not going to be Sir Nick. He's too overpowered. He really is. Sir Nick is so overpowered in the game and in PvP. They will not do Sir Nick again. So whoever fused him, they got lucky. They won't do that. They just won't. But we're gonna have some kind of fusion, right? We're gonna have Miss Nick, Mrs. Nick, or something going on, right? So we'll see what that is. And then they'll have double, well, I guess I was getting to, then they'll probably have like a double summon event probably sometime next month, I would guess. So I've been saving mine up as well. We'll do some more summons. Thank you all so much. I'm just rambling now. I love you all and I'll see you in a video soon.